Uh, let's go with you because I'm not sure exactly what we're talking about here. Okay. <laughs> I think we're live. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Sorry we're a few minutes late. We um we we ran into a technical issue. Or well, we wanted to do some Zoom stuff with you today, and so we're we're, we're maneuvering at the last minute. But um, welcome. This is Certified Life Coach Institute, and. We have, it's a small family group here today. Um, uh, Lisa, would you like to introduce yourself? <laughs> Hi everyone, Lisa, Certified Life Coach Institute. Many of you, have, if you've called, I've spoken with you on the phone um, and we're getting things promoted and done. And uh, next is our amazing Jerome. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Jerome. I'm an admin No, here. amazing Jerome. <laughs> amazing Jerome, my name is amazing Jerome. Uh, I'm an admin here at CLCI, and um, I think we're kind of freestyling it today, which is exciting. Uh, we'll, we'll see where we, where we land, but definitely going to be useful, and um, hope it can help a lot of you guys. We, we totally are freestyling it, so we can go anywhere with this. We can, go, <laughs> we can do anything we wanted. Um, hi, everybody. I am Brooke. Um, I am one of the many folks here at Certified Life Coach Institute. I'm also a brand and marketing strategist and um, a coach as well. And most importantly, a member of the CLCI family. <laughs> um, so one of the things we're going to talk about is how we can help you. And one of the things that we have found is um, when you take our classes, I don't know if everybody out there watching has, but um, there are some tools we use. And one of those tools we use is Google Drive. Um, and we do that to give you your class prep, to give you your toolbox, to, so we just wanted to sort of give you guys a little education in uh, Google Drive and, and the capabilities of what you can, the ways you can use it uh, for free for yourself. So uh, Lisa, did you have something? Um, the toolbox, just so you guys are knowing, we give you some forms that uh, assist you in getting started. Yes, that's the Life Coach Toolbox. That is a bonus thing that we give our, um, which we can, wait, this might be a good thing to go over really quick, uh, the, the contract a little bit and how you can personalize it um, in Google Drive. So the toolbox is, uh, we give that to all of our graduates. When they graduate, they get a sort of business in a box kind of thing with, uh, it's got handouts you can give to your clients. It's got the life wheel. It's got um, the contract uh, or well, the client, client coach agreement and all kinds of good stuff in there. But the issue we have found or I have found is people get it and they go, well, what do I do with it? Because it's got your branding on it and it's got your, you know, so we're gonna show you today how to brand it for yourself, how to make it your own <laughs> essentially. Um, there are lots of little tools we hand out in these lives too, as well, and you can do the same with them. And um, the great thing about Google Drive, uh, even though you know they give they let they give it to you for free, so you don't have to pay for any of this. It's totally free. Um, so uh, I guess begin by sharing the screen, and let me actually get this open really quick. Jerome, how do you feel about Google Drive? Do you like Google Drive? I've sort of forced everybody at Certified Life Coach Institute into using Google Drive. Forced is the good thing you're seeing. <laughs> Google Drive is very secure. It's very easy to manage, I think. Um, I have no issues with Google Drive. Never have. I don't know if I will. We'll see. They're, they're really good. So because I'm accustomed like we all have a way of learning and when you learn something you're comfortable with what you learn I've had to relearn some uh, things with the Google uh, Drive it's not hard by no means it's not hard it's just getting my head wrapped around this switch of the new behavior that I have to have with the Google Drive it makes sense it's very similar to the other products that are out there word and um, Excel and, and those kinds of things. Very similar. It's just got its own little private. It's like getting a new cell phone, right? When you get a new cell phone, <laughs> there are weird things about that new cell phone that you're very comfortable with your old one. So this is Google Drive is that same way for me. Anyway, go ahead. Jerome, can you give me um, uh, oh, yeah, sharing, of course. sharing powers? <laughs> I had to realize I had to sign in under account that wasn't Certified Life Coach Institute because 
if I had done that, I would already have access to everything and it wouldn't be uh, authentically like being a student who does not have access uh, the way that I do. Um, so yeah. let's see, now I'm gonna share my screen and we will go with this one here. And just one more tidbit on Google Drive. It is amazing when it comes to uh, working in a group. Everything is, I'm sure we'll talk about, It's it's, easy to share on Google Drive and keep, again, like I mentioned, secure and safe. So one of the things um, I'm going to do is I am going to go to our, we're going to do, well, I think, well, you know, we'll go with class prep. I'm going to go to our class prep. And then um, with that, we, we give our class prep out through Google Drive. So I will go through this just like I'm a student. Um, without giving away too much information. <laughs> Divulging the secrets. Okay, so when you go to, when you sign up for class, our, we, we send you through a series of steps. This would be the third step. When you get to the end, when you finally signed everything under the sun, you need to sign. We, um, you can download your class prep. So if you see here, this is, when we click on it, it takes you to a Google document right here. And so that's what this is. We are now in Google, Drive or Google Docs. So way to get there, just so everybody knows, is um, go to, now we're assuming everybody has a Google account. Uh, if you don't, it's free to make one. Um, but you go to docs.google.com, that will get you there, or drive.google.com. Um, just so you know, that's a quick way to get to wherever you're, you need. Um, but since we already have it open on this window, I'm going to switch. So you'll see we have put instructions here. Um, most people, I, I have learned, their inclination is to try to edit this file. Well, you can't when you get here. Why? <laughs> the reason being we want it to stay consistent for everybody as they come in and take the class. We want this to remain the same. So what we have you do is go file, and then you're going to make a copy, and you're going to copy it to your own drive. So um, we can call this, uh, well, let, give me a, a name of a, a coaching company. We'll just make one up. <laughs> we'll, we'll say Jerome's. Jerome's class prep. <laughs> so name it whatever you want. And it's going to get saved into my drive. So I'm going to just save this in my, uh, where it's saved is fine. But you, you can choose wherever you want in your drive, have it saved. Um, you don't really want to share it with the same people and you don't want to <laughs> copy the comments or suggestions and then just click OK. And what that has done, and that simple move, is it has now taken this file that in this one, you can't edit this. So I could try, well, if I, you can't edit it. In this one now, it is yours with which to do anything in the world. So you can now get rid of this page, delete, and it works just like Google Docs. Um, which is fantastic. So, or I'm sorry, Microsoft Word, for those of you who are comfortable with Microsoft Word. Um, and now it's yours, so you can add your own branding to it. Um, simple thing, make a copy and then do whatever you wish. So you can do this with a toolbox, you can do this with, and, and now, so, okay, we can't edit the top. Why is that? Jerome, do you know why? <laughs> Pop quiz. Because it's formatted, right? Yeah, well, yes. Yeah, so, so we want to go, basically, we want to go to get the header and footer, and that's in the, it's in the header. So we're going to want to edit our header, our header, our header here. <laughs> and now we're in the header, and then you can change this out, and we can call it Jerome's um, Life Coach. Life Coach, do all caps, Life Coach Prep. I also want to show you guys something really cool about Google Docs. And then let's get rid of this logo. We want this one out. If it lets me give it a moment. There we go. So, um, and then here's something that's very, very cool. So in this, you will find in this whole packet, we have these areas where people, we've asked people to sign things. Um, it may not be in this one. Uh, let's see. Yes, here we go. So, well, no, that's marketing. Okay, maybe we don't have areas. Anyways, let's say you had a contract, okay? And we wanted you wanted to send this out for signing. 
So we're going to say, we'll, we'll do, let's just at the end of this document, we'll put a little line. Jerome needs to get his thing signed with his client. Okay. So um, we're going to go clients, clients, signature. And this is what's really neat. They allow you to get a digital signature for free. So this works great for your clients for if you're sending out a contract, a client coach agreement, something like that. You can actually use Google Docs to send this out. How do you do that? The, what's amazing is Google Docs has this little tab up here called add-ons. When you go to add-ons, you see we go there. Yeah. Do we need to finish this document, save it, and then go to add-ons or? Yeah. Well, yes we do. I Okay, see, so I'm spoiled by the online thing because it automatically saves for you. So Google automatically saves in real time, um, which is good and bad because when you're not in Google, other things don't do that. So um, uh, you forget and then, oh, it's just not nearly as convenient. Um, so that's, see how it says up here, last edit was seconds ago. This is it tracking if it is saving. If ever you get like a little bar up there that's yellow and it says, uh, it says hasn't saved and there's usually a, a timer clicking down. That is typically because for some reason something's gone awry in Google land and you're going to want to refresh before you do any more work because it's probably not going to save it. You may have lost internet connection. You, yeah, exactly. Here's something really fantastic about this though because it saves all the time. So let's say you were doing work and you it doesn't save or you, you erase something and you can't find it. Um, you can go to version history, which is under file. And if you go to version history, you can see every version of this document since, so we just made it. So it's going to show you and it's and it, each save. So now what you can do is go back through your history and restore your document to its original version. And which is kind of awesome because you you have this tracked history you can't really lose work and you can always go backwards which amazing right <laughs> um so crazy and whatever so some of us tend to be a little fearful to make changes and this is a really good element to don't be afraid just go go crazy if you want because mm -hmm. you always have several versions of what you've saved Exact and if you want to, if you let's say you get to a point and you're like, this is a good, you can go back into this version history that we just went into, and you can name a specific version. So we could do this, name this version, we can type original, right? And that way, okay, um, we have that. Well, I'm going to slow you down just a second. What she uh -huh. went to was the three dots on the side when yes, she thank clicked you. on it, <laughs> and then. It gave her the option of rename. Rename. I mean, you can see several different things that you can do with that. You can also, yeah, you can make a copy of it so that there's another version. And then, I mean, I don't know what, why you would want to, but perhaps somebody has a reason to do so. So this automatically is built in. You don't have to make this happen. This comes with it, which is uh, a neat way. So thing, here's the thing, if we name this original, because you can have a whole lot of edits, you can choose at the top here, only show named versions, and then it'll go make the ones that don't have specific names disappear, um, it, but except the current version will always be present. So once again, Very just cool. to show you how we got here, um, real quick, it's up at file, and then you go to version history right here. And then you can name the version or you can see the full version history right here. Um, and that, that, I mean, there's a little relief there, right? <laughs> um, you can't, you can, uh, you can't hurt anything or it, it's all restorable for the most part. Now things do happen. I, I learned the hard way when that bar comes up there, I kept working and sometimes it does not connect. And so an hour of work can go by and I'm not getting that back because it's just not being saved. So that's the one thing it is saved to a cloud. So it's um, keep that in mind. Uh, it's not saved to your hard computer. Should we show how to save something to the physical hard drive? Um, so to do that in Google Drive, you're gonna, they don't really say it's not a save as, whereas you might be used to save as in Word. You go to download 
and then you're going to choose a couple different options. Um, Microsoft Word will download it as a Word document that you can use in Word. It sometimes makes it look different. However. It can. It can kind of like shuffle things up. It's good for you if you're going to be editing it in Word to do that. If you aren't going to be editing it and you're sending it just to a client and you don't want it changed, you're going to want to download it as a PDF. Because when you download it as a PDF, unless they have a paid program to edit that actual document, it's going to keep it intact um, and not, they won't be able to change it, which is, which is important for us. It's important. That's why we give a lot of PDFs out because we want it to be branded under our brand and we don't want somebody to take our brand material and rebrand it for themselves like I'm doing. <laughs> well, how do they sign it if it's a PDF? So let's show you now that's okay. So one thing I want to show you is, sorry, I'm going to turn that off, um, <laughs> is when you want to get this signed, get something signed. So let's let, we were down here at the bottom with the signature. So there's this little tab up here. It says add-ons. When we go to add-ons, you're going to click on get add-ons. Now what add-ons are is there are companies outside of Google that have built out little sort of plugins or snippets that will help you function in this program better. They, they are just, they're like little shortcuts, which is very cool. So one of the quickest ways to see what they have for signing is just go up here to where it says search apps and type in sign. And you'll see a plethora of options and they're rated, which is huge and very important um, as to how you can get people to sign your documents for you. Um, different ones have different costs. DocuSign, I believe, um, will cost a little bit of money. HelloSign, I believe they do it for free from there. I'm not sure. So what you would do is choose one of these. When you choose them, I choose something with a high, try to choose something with a higher rating. It will then walk you through step by step how to get that signed. Sign Now is one we use, and I'll click on that real quick. So you would add it in as a, an add-on. I already have it as an add-on. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna add this as an add-on? You click yes. You accept the, 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 that it can affect your Google document. And then after that, you close this out and it'll be up here under your add-ons tab. And you'll see, see it says hello sign. And then we have sign, where's my sign now? There's sign now. So can you choose that now? Yes, I'm going to. Okay. So now I would choose start. And now what's going to happen is a little window will pop up here over on the left side. If all goes well, <laughs> um, which eh, sometimes not always true. Where is it? Come here. Why can't I see my little? So, okay. If we see, if, like I said, if all goes well, uh, let's try it one more time. <laughs> and what's funny, it must be popping up in the background. Okay. So here we go. So this will pop up. This is this, basically what it's asking you is to create an account or register your account, which you'll wanna do that. Um, it'll take you through those steps. Let's see, we can do that really quick. Sign now is actually a really quick, they have a, it's a quick process with regard to them. So I'm gonna just do it under a different account. So let's see if they charge us, um, which I don't think they do just for this basic plugin. So now we're in sign now, it's taking you, but you can just ignore this and go back to your document over here and we should be, oh, I'm just kidding, or stop your share screen. <laughs> um, share, go back here to your document and sometimes you have to close it out and open it back up, authorize. Well, I guess I click authorization then. Okay, that's why. I'm hitting a wall because I have an account with them. And so it doesn't want to. Okay. Oh, yes. Hold on. Oh, oh good. I can't remember what password I used. <laughs> okay. And then you guys can have as much trouble as me. So um, let's see. Well, kind of that's the point. You know, we all, even though we're very familiar with things, okay. we all kind of struggle with passwords and things like that. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. It, so there's, again, just take a breather. Sign there's always workarounds. 
with a system. So here we go. This is the this is why it does. They're eight dollars per user, so eight dollars a month for them to get. But that's up to ten senders. I'm almost certain. Then it must be hello sign. So let me see really quick. We're gonna go back over here, guys, and we're gonna go add-ons. I'm gonna try another one because this is why I have so many is because I've gone through and I've been like, okay, let's see which one's for free. <laughs> um, so let's let's try hello sign. I believe with hello sign, what you have to do is act, I mean, you're gonna have to input the email of whoever, which is fine. Okay, so yes, hello sign's free. Woo, okay. <laughs> so if you go to the hello sign add on, instead of sign now, go to hello sign. And now it's gonna ask you who needs to sign this. And this is where it's kind of cool. If you have to sign it yourself too. So if you the coach are signing as well, you would be me and others. If it's just you, it's just me, or if it's just others. So we'll do just others because we just have the client's signature on this. And it's going to go through and it's going to ask you to input their email and um, also say where on the document it needs to be signed. And then you can send it out. And um, for now, we'll just get the circle of death. <laughs> so once again, that, this is a really cool thing about the add-ons tab in, in this Google Drive is it provides you with so much more versatility than just what Google offers because it's other people building little add-ons that you can use within Google. Question, um, can, you use, can you use that little add-on tab for more than just like sign now and hello sign? What other types of things? I'm interested in. Can you use that for? Uh, so, okay. One of the things we use it for, oh man, there, it depends on where we're at. So mm -hmm. if we're using, cause Google, we're right now, we are in one part of Google. We're in Google docs. There's also Google sheets, Google forms, which is very handy. Actually it might be something we want to talk about. Um, and in Google forms, I use the add-ons all the, all the time, but let's look. So what do I have here? One of the things I use is doc tools. Why do I like doc tools? Because with doc tools, and this is an add-on, I can take any amount of text and make it all uppercase. I can make it all lowercase. I can have it capitalize each, just the first word, um, sentence case. I get, it, it does this for me. So I don't have to, it kind of like automates things that otherwise, why, when do I use that? Well, Let's say I have a line that's in all caps up here, up here and I don't want to have to retype it. Um, it's this, it's, I just highlight this. I go up to my add on. I go to doc tools and I go all lowercase and it's going to automatically do that for me. And it's just about little shortcuts to make life a little simpler on me <laughs> in the process and on you guys as well. And that's why I kind of have fun going up to the add-ons and just exploring. Like I like to just play in there and see what's going on and what they have. One thing I'd love to show really quick we have um, is Google Slides. Uh, are you guys willing to go with Before me? Before we go Slides? there, just really quick reminder, but remember we have the versions. If we go, oops, I didn't want to highlight that area and make those corrections. You always have the last version saved also. So just play around, get comfortable. Exactly, and you can, you can do no harm. Um, and that's the great thing too about anything we give you with regards to this, you can make your copy and go wild with it, you know? Um, and then you can always make another copy and make another copy. Cause the, the original copy that we have exists here as it is and you can see this up here is somebody else using it, which is kind of cool. Um, actually, before we leave completely, I'd like to go do one more thing. We're gonna go back to Jerome's class prep. If you are working in an environment where you wanna share a document with other people, so you want somebody else to be able to look at it or use it or do what we've done. So what we do to share is if you see up here on the right, I clicked it already, but there's a big blue button that says share. So you're gonna click on that and you're gonna now see all these people are shared on it. You can choose to just input somebody's information. So if I was gonna share with Jerome, um, I'm gonna share with Jerome here. And now I can choose over here what level of change he can do. So he can just view the document and that's viewer. He can comment on the document commenter and then he can edit which means he can do just about anything this is just the first step with this once here's one thing that i just click this little button in the corner see this 
tool. This is important because let's say you want him to, Jerome to be an editor, but you don't want Jerome to add anybody else. He can edit it, but I don't want him adding other people to it. So then you check this box. Editors can change permissions and share. Well, we don't want editors to be able to affect anybody else who can share this document, only me, the person who made it. And that would be, you would uncheck this button so that only you, the person who created it, can change permissions, add other people, share that document with anybody else. It's up to you and you alone. Um, viewers and commenters can see the option to download, print, and copy. Why is that one important? Well, if you made a document and you just want them to view it, but you don't want them to be able to print it, make a PDF out of it, um, download it, because if somebody can download something, they can, in theory, use a program to change it or affect it. So if you want to be much more protective, then I would uncheck that box as well. So basically, having these boxes checked gives a lot more permission to your editors and your viewers. When they are unchecked, your your document is protected to maximum capacity, essentially. Only you can do the, the major affecting when it comes to sharing with other people. This is important if you have, again, um, branded material, things that you want you and your company alone to use uh, and not to, to have the world be able to sort of take and make their own. So a lot of people like we, we choose to give you guys these tools. We have a branded version, but we want you to be able to take them and affect them and change them. And that's why we allow the download and the print and the copy to happen because we want to give you guys that permission. Um, and I also want to quickly show you. So this was, this is where you add in a specific person. Let's say you just want to share it on your website. Like you just want to put it on your website, have it be something that people can download as a, as a, as a um, lead magnet or something like that. Then you would choose get link. So you see this down here where it says get link. Before you choose get link, there's a little blue thing here that says change. Click on the change. What that does is lets you choose what level of access somebody with the link has. So you click on this little, where it says anyone with the link, you click on this arrow, restricted, certified life coach institute, which would be anybody that has a certified life coach institute.com or anyone with the link. So this is, you're choosing, okay, who can access this through this link? Anyone with this link. Now, what can that person with the link do? And you can choose, they can view, comment or edit. So again, it's just another level where you don't have to actually manually input somebody's information. You can just put a link on your website and it will take them to the document, much like we have, that's what we have going on here in this one. This is a link, that's all this is. So it's a link to a document that when they click, they you get, you get enter into our document as a viewer and you're a viewer who can make downloads and copies and that's, that's why you can't change this document, but you can make a copy of it. Does that make sense? Yes, no? I mean, I'm, I'm <laughs> um, it's a lot. It is. It's amazing. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, well, it's so be a lot, right? I mean, it gives you so many different ways you can share, which is great. There, you know, if you get stuck with trying to share a document uh, on one avenue, you can find another way to do it or if it's just it depends on what platform you're trying to share on just kind of like how we're mentioning um i think it's amazing because it is a lot it doesn't mean that it's a lot to necessarily uh -huh. it can be a lot to understand but to give you it's giving you the ability to share wherever you'd like it to which is the reason you can i think you can like share it. with any amount of people and so you can create and, and that's kind of it's and then you can do it for free you don't have to build out this whole thing it's all right here for you already and then also, if we were talking about commenter, well, what's a commenter? So let's say, I'm gonna go back to Jerome's document um, here. Let's say we're working on this together, Jerome, and, I, and I'm like, uh, well, you know, I'm not crazy about this line here on this. You can go up to this tool here. It's a little plus and it looks like a comment uh, or it looks like a little commenter's box. And if you click on this, it now will pop out. Let me zoom out a little, a little comment box over here where I can leave a comment for Jerome. And I can go at Jerome, uh, you should be here, here he is, at Jerome. Um, and I can call him out and go, hey, can we change this? <laughs> um, and what this will do is send an email to Jerome 
and I can assign it to him even and then click assign and it will send him a little email saying, hey, there's a comment for you on this document. And then he can come in later. And when he says, oh no, it's great the way it is, he can click on this and click, he can do a reply and then he can click handled and then it goes away, which is kind of neat when we're working on um, like, you know, anything that we're gonna share. It's not just me or just Jerome or just Lisa. Everybody gets a chance to come in, leave comments and make changes and, and really work collaboratively on what we do and what we create at CLCI. So this is definitely a tool we use to do that. Um, I think that's good for now for this. Uh, what I'd like to do is sort of, I, it's gonna, it's kind of like a little teaser extra. I wanna show you guys really quick how you can make the simplest, quickest little logo, essentially, in Google Slides. <laughs> because Google Slides gives you almost everything that you can do in Adobe. In, I mean, it's, yes, it's, it's a little more, it's not as advanced, but you can create your own logo in there. You can create, you can do so much. Um, and we can do it quickly. So. What I just did is I clicked on the three dots in the corner, three lines, clicked on them again. This is gonna show you all of what can you can do. So there's Google Docs, that's for like Microsoft Word. There's Google Sheets, that's like Microsoft Excel. Google Slides is like PowerPoint. And this I didn't even I didn't even realize that that when you use a PowerPoint, even PowerPoint, it, it, the, the capacity for creating is, is uh, amazing. <laughs> um, it is, it's so cool. So I clicked, let's make a new presentation. Um, okay, that's not the size of a normal sheet of paper. Oh, that's okay, we can change that. So I did file, page setup really quick. And now I'm just gonna change this to custom and I'm gonna go eight and a half which is your standard piece of paper by 11. So you can just see, this is what a piece of paper looks like. You can, this is where, where we create workbooks. This is if we're, you know, if uh, um, the, our, our, our manuals we make in Google Slides. Um, there's a lot of elements that come into this, but, but at the end, when it's finished and complete, it's done through Google Slides. Why? Because everybody can see it. Everybody can comment on it. Everybody can work on it and change it, and we can have this collaborative thing. And it's all done through Google, which is kind of amazing. <laughs> you introduced me to the power of slides, Google Slides. The power of slides. When, when I originally began working on it, I figured, you know, it was going to be much more limited than, say, what you mentioned, like Adobe. But with some creativity and a little bit of work around, you can make literally anything that you want. You can, I mean, it's amazing. And what I'll do is I'll, I can even pull up a little um, bit, a portion of our book and show you um, how simple it is. So right now, what you're, you're just seeing, it looks like a piece of paper. So let's say we want to make a logo for Jerome. Jerome, what is the name of your coaching business again? I, it's Postgrad Coach, right? Postgrad right, Coach. I have a logo too. You do? Not oh, yeah, we have a logo. That, that gonna... particular brand, but for myself. <laughs> so... What I, I, I went and clicked up here on the T, so that's gonna give us a text box. Um, and I'm just gonna type in post, P, P O, S T. I'm only gonna put post, because I like to have each word when I'm doing a logo, have their own little text box so I can affect it in, separately. Um, so I'm gonna do one box for each word. Grad, and then one more, coach, C-O-A-C-H. Okay, again, this is a totally free tool, which is awesome. So if I go to this, now I've got it selected. I can look at all these fonts that Google automatically has some loaded in there. Let's say you're not seeing anything you love. Go to more fonts and you now have access to every Google font there is on the internet. And um, it's kind of amazing because you can go up here and you can go to um, choose, do you want it to look like handwriting? Um, so let's do for fun. Let's do like post will be in a handwriting script. Okay. Does that work for you? Yeah, I, we'll do that. I like something like collegiate writing. We do a lot of that in college, right? Okay. So, well, tell me if there's anything in here you like that you see any font that stands out to you or. I like homemade apple. You passed it a little while ago, oh, but. Homemade apple. I'm going back to homemade apple. 
there it is. Okay, so we're gonna go homemade apple and it just could, now it's gonna load that into the fonts for you. I'm gonna click okay. And we are now, it says it's in homemade apple. Thing with handwriting, a lot of times, uh, all caps in handwriting, not the race. Greatest, you can't see this right now. That's because their size is tiny. So we're gonna make our size much bigger. We're gonna go up to 60 and make the box bigger so it could support it. And probably gonna make this not all uppercase because script fonts and all uppercase don't always work. So post. And I would say, in general, when you're using marketing materials, you don't want to yes. use script. You probably want to stay away from script fonts because cursive is not something, it makes me sad. It makes me sad. I just, I don't want to admit it. <laughs> yeah. um, we should change it. It's not very legible. Yeah, it's not, like it that's anymore. okay. But this is, this is a process of designing. It's never going to be right the first time. It's never, ever, um, ever, ever. Uh, so okay we learned our lesson there not crazy about that one i'm gonna go with something a little simpler i think let's go to more fonts and we'll do uh we'll go we, not all see this is legible still so you can do handwriting without cursive um i'm gonna find i'm picking one for you this time <laughs> no i'm just kidding if you see one you like please please, please. oh no i trust you <laughs> uh let's do let's, coming soon looks really uh i want it to look like it's kind of written like you know it's post-grad mm -hmm. um i'm trying to think of what your, that would say about your brand so i for some reason feel like it should be like you wrote it really quick and leaving class or something like that <laughs> i don't know why that is but um let's see i kind of like stalemate even though it's tiny and you guys can't see it it's got a little style to it um hold on Although it may, again, oh, it's a little fancy schmancy. Might be too schmancy, we'll see. For now, I'm gonna leave it. We can always go back and change it later. Um, so let's make it really big. Eh, it's not bad. I wonder what it all looks like in all caps. P-O-S-T, it. <laughs> again, this is why you'll see, even I, I mean, there's, it's never right the first time ever. So. I'm going to go back and I, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to choose, we're going to just get rid of the handwriting thing altogether right now. We're just throwing that by the wayside. <laughs> um, I'm going to choose a light font sans serif. And that means without um, a little squiggly thing. So we're just going to do something simple. And the thing with logos, simple is better. Always want simple. Um, now we're going to choose grad. I'm going to switch this up. We had a nice, let's see that, that font's thinner. I'm going to choose quicksand, same font. Variations in a font are amazing. So if you can choose a font that has more variation, all the better, because it will go along well with its pals, with its buddies, um, without having to do much design. Whoa. Oh, sorry. I went to the wrong. So, so part of that is, is not changing it up too much. You're not trying exactly. to make it um, feel like there's too many fonts, too many colors, too many, too many of anything is not good. So having not, it in the family good. will not make it feel like it's all by itself. And I'm not crazy about the quicksand, so I'm going to switch really quick. But so, so you see whenever there are these arrows to the left here, what those arrows mean is that there is a variation. So it means that there, it's, it's going to get, have a lighter, form and a, a skinnier form. So I like this one. So we're at Oswald. I'm going to go Oswald and then we're going to go Oswald bold on that one and Oswald light on the top here. Um, so right now we put, they're not really measuring up. That's okay. Cause here's, what's very cool is you can go over to when you've got this selected, there's these three dots and you see format options. If I go to format options, I now have so many things I can do with the font itself. And I can affect the width, the um, how it fits, how, and it just gives you this really cool control that you don't always have. Um, that's padding. So padding, what padding is, is like that space outside of it. Um, I want to do, uh, let's see, let's go with width. No, that's just going to affect the box. So we'll do this. Post. I'm putting space in between, guys. And now it's almost the same size, not quite the same size. That's okay. We're going to go back and I'm going to do this. 
and this again, totally free way you can make yourself a logo really quick. Logo should be simple. You don't want to overcomplicate. I always design a logo in black and white. Um, why? Because you can add the color in later. Um, you want it to be able to sit on a piece of paper, black and white paper, and just stand on its own and be identifiable, even in black and white. And then you can add colors in from there. Uh, but I always start with black and white. Uh, it's just the way I was taught. Um, and then we'll do coach. Coach can be kind of, I'm okay with it being smaller. Um, and I'm going to do the same font. I'm going to go back to Oswald again, and I'm going to go extra light, and I'm going to make it, bring up the size here, um, probably 72 or so. And then I'm going to put a little, yeah, it's getting there. So, okay, it's logo, uh, simple. But let's say you want to add a shape to it or something like that. Um, Jerome, what kind of shape do you want when you're putting that up there? What? You get a graduation cap. A graduation cap? cap? Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so this is cool. Let's go. We're going to go back up to add ons. So going to add ons, and look at, I don't have many add ons on this. So we're going to go to get add ons, and I am going to look up icons. What's really neat about this is now I can add in this, there's this icon, insert icons. Sure, we'll go through the process and show you really quick. If I don't have this one, so I want it. So I'm <laughs> click add, I clicked on it, it'll pull it up uh, as long as my internet isn't ridiculously slow. And then I'm gonna go individual, uh, I just clicked on install. It'll pop up a thing and say, okay, are you really you? And I will say, yes, I am me um, and allow. And now it's been installed. That's how quickly the add-ons install, which is kind of very cool. Um, and then I close out of that and I'm gonna go to add-ons and now it's here, look at that, insert. So I can open my icon sidebar and that's gonna pop up over here. And look at this, I can search for, uh, what was we wanted a graduation. Yeah, it should come up after, there you Oh, go. look at that. There's a graduation cap right there for me. And I can choose, Whatever color, what color do you want it to be? Um, if we're sticking to black and white, let's go with black for now. Okay, we'll go, actually, I will, I think we should do a little color on this one so it stands okay. out from the writing. Mm -hmm. Are you good with gold? I know you like yes, gold. I'm good with, yeah, 100%. <laughs> okay, black so we're gonna, gold for. He likes black and gold for sure. Yes, it does. <laughs> so now <laughs> we're good. Um, why is it, why are you preventing it from being inserted? Well, now it's not letting me insert it for some reason, of course, naturally. Uh, let's try now. Okay, so that one, that's a bad, don't use that one, use this one instead. So we'll try this one then. <laughs> but they have, again, this happens. It's other people making the add-ons. So sometimes they don't work, sometimes they do. Don't stress, don't, don't let it get you down. Just choose a different one. There's a whole bunch of them. Um, see, look, at this one has way more options too. Like, oh, I like this one because it's got the little arch on the top. Uh, Jerome, do you have a preference? Are you there, Drew? Hmm? I'm looking, I'm looking. <laughs> oh, you're looking, okay. I like that one. Okay, and then we can choose, you can change the color, you can choose whatever color you want it to be over here. And so we'll get it kind of gold. Um, and then we'll insert it. So uh, it's kind of not a fun gold. Let me add a little. So what she's doing is choosing the gradient of the color so that it slightly adjusts to the direction that she's um working towards yeah so i'm just moving I'm picking a color for it yeah so a cheat code would be like for gold i know that's difficult to really figure out but you can actually type in um gold the number so a corresponding gold number and then uh it'll give you the number to insert which beautiful uh, i love that uh so the way you would do that is you could actually go over here and write you're typing gold in, in Google, is that what you're talking Pulling up an HTML right. color, right? Like, yeah, Google, uh, I H type in color number. Well, I typically, if you just type in HTML, that's uh, Google HTML, it, it will give you what the hex color is for gold. So here it is right here. Um, and that's going to be this number. It's a, it's a five, a six digit number, D4AS37. So um, I would normally, I can copy it right here and then just copy that. And then if you go back to slides, 
my, my menus in the way. So it's hard for me to switch screens. Um, and I can go to change the color on this again. See this number here? You can put that in right there and it's gonna give you that gold as that they had explained that that exact color was, which is kind of very beautiful point. I love that. <laughs> so then I inserted that one again. Um, it'll pop in there again. So there it is with the changed color. And watch this. I'm going to get rid of the other one. Well, which gold do you like better? I know like the one top left. We did a good job with that one. This one or this one? The one to the left. Okay, so leave that one. Get rid of this one. Yeah. Okay. So now we can take this and let's say we want to tilt it. There's this little thing at the top here. Once it turn, your cursor turns into an X, you can rotate it. And let's put it on the P. <laughs> Cute. Um, what? It's very cute. Make it a little smaller and then, you know, get it on there. And look at that. We got Postgrad Coach. It's a logo. Um, and all done quickly in in uh, Google Slides. It's a very, I mean, you can explore this. They also have plugins for, um, I'm going to show you really quick there. Oh, and here, while I have this up, if I have this here and I want to put a drop shadow or something on that, go to Format Options and you have down here, you can change the color, you can change the transparency, which means it's how clear it is or uh, see-through it is essentially, or you could add a drop shadow to it if you want. And when you add it, you can change the color of the drop shadow, how far away from the hat it is, you know? So if you want it to sort of stand off, you can, and so play with these tools, just get in there and, and see, you know, what you like, what you don't like. Um, because again, you have your file version history and you can go back and go back to whatever version you want. There's also this lovely tool here, which is the back arrow or control Z will always undo anything you don't like. Or I, I liked it. So, Oh, you like the drop shadow. I did. <laughs> okay. We'll add it back in. <laughs> um, so very cool. I mean, look, and all free and you can make a quick logo and just play around. And even if you don't use it, it's, it's a good way to get comfortable. Cause again, we use this for making our, I mean, a lot of things at, at CLCI. So also if you want things to line up on the side, if you click all three and you go to arrange, this will, you can have everything in line on the left. And then now, you know, it's all in one line. And, um, I want to show you one quick add on. This is great for if you want to have a picture and then we'll wrap it up and we'll be done. Um, and you go to add ons, go to get add ons. They have um, royalty free photos in this program that you can use. And you can use these as textures, as backgrounds. And Unsplash is the one we use most often. Um, and it's all royalty free. So that means you can use them on your website. You can use them anywhere you wish. You can have them be a texture as a background of a picture you're doing. If you're doing a vision board, you could do a vision board in here and, and pull these pictures. They're here already and they are for you to use, um, which is kind of amazing. And so that's again, up in your add-ons tool, which is a great tool within Google Docs. I'm gonna stop my share. I've been talking the whole time. I'm all talked out. <laughs> Well, and we got to wrap up. It's yeah, do you guys have any questions? Uh, is Jerome, did we lose Jerome? No, he's here. <laughs> I don't see him. <laughs> I see him. Oh, but, uh, oh, no, he's frozen. He's frozen. Oh. Uh, well, hopefully he comes back before we get done. Uh, Lisa, any, any questions, comments, things? No, I thought that was really cool in the sense of that it's got so many tools. I, I don't use them all like that. So it was good to see the many different options and how easy it is to use and really to just not, don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be afraid. Do don't be afraid. Do Get in there. Get in there. Mess around. <laughs> and the, um, oh, we lost Jerome. Yeah, he's um, gone. Yeah. But so, I mean, really just, it's a great tool. It's free. It's all there for you. And, and you can download it all. So you can download it to a PDF. You can make it a JPEG. You can do whatever you want and, and, go crazy with it have fun and, yeah. and that's with our toolbox that we give you what? copy it and make it your own make your own put your logo at the top put your you know put that postcard coach in the header and all of that and have fun with it pretty much thank so, you thank, thank you, you. <laughs> and i talked a lot so um 
thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this, uh, uh, make sure you comment, share. If you have any questions, we're here. Uh, we are always uh, love to hear from you and uh, love love your interaction. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for su your support. Make sure you check out Certified Life Coach Institute if you want to be a life coach or if you just want to, you know, learn some awesome tools for life. Period. So. Uh, I think that's all. I think we're good. <laughs> and for Jerome, I'll say goodbye. Thank you for being oh, I know. here. Mr. And we'll see you soon. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> and I'm ending the meeting.